bald but I'm not bald I promise hi everybody welcome back to my channel so today I am doing something that I haven't done in a while um, I am doing a chit chat get ready with me if you couldn't tell already by the title but I just felt like sitting in front of the camera and talking to you guys and doing my makeup something I don't really get to do very often with the mask wearing and being in between working from home so I don't really get to dress up or like do my makeup very often so I figured now would be a fun time to do that I've also been trying out some new products stuff that's like a little bit more skin like which is kind of of the um, the look that I'm trying to go for more nowadays so I definitely want to do more minimal makeup looks <laughs> um, so I am gonna show you guys what I've been trying what I've been liking what I've like not really so much been liking not not so much liking not I always have this problem like I can't speak yeah I'm just gonna be trying things out and telling you guys what I like and what I don't like so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing the rest of this video you already know what to do just please keep on watching all right so to start I've already done my eyebrows um, and I have lash extensions in so not really um, so much to do there I love having my lashes done it just makes everything so much faster so much easier I can literally just go out like this and maybe some like powder and be good but yeah so we're just gonna do I wouldn't say this is a no makeup makeup look but it's just like a less makeup look like a more natural everyday makeup look so that's what we're gonna be doing today to start I'm going to start with my foundation if you guys see some flyaways in my hair just ignore that I just washed my hair so it's kind of damp still but I just wanted to do a little slick back situation anyways to start I will be using this new foundation that I picked up from Sephora it's actually from the Sephora collection it's just the matte perfection tinted moisturizer so i think that tinted moisturizers and skin tints are super popular these days because everybody's kind of trying to go for that no makeup makeup look as well so i figured i'd try this one out it is in the shade 12 which is tweed i'll also leave this information in the description box all the products i'll be using will also be in the description box as well so if you guys forget the names or if i forget to mention what i'm using it'll be down below for you guys obviously been using my e-strop a lot lately as well um, whenever i do wear makeup however i find that like after time i kind of like lose like the glow like I don't know if that makes sense but I like using these two together just because I feel like this one is a little bit more warmer than my skin tint and they're both like around the same consistency so I like to mix the two um, I already have I already have where is it I already have moisturizer on I would use some primer but um, today I'm just gonna set my face with just some regular face powder to start I'm just gonna use my Fenty Pro filter like face powder um, I'm gonna use it all over my face because I kind of like the look I do have like oilier skin and I've been using this trick for the past couple of weeks and I do find that it actually really does help not even the application of my makeup but like the way that my makeup looks like after it's like been set for a couple hours it just looks really really nice and smooth so I like that so I'm just gonna put some of this over my face and then next like I said I'm gonna use these two foundations or these two skin tints um, the Sephora collection one you do need to shake every time you use it um, just because it has like an oil base and it like separates so um, the girl at Sephora did tell me it just needs a couple quick shakes every time you use it but um, yeah and it also has like a shaker thing inside so that's cool I'm just gonna put a couple squirts on my face so at first glance it does look a little bit light when I first put it on it was just like but after a couple minutes it does kind of like oxidize or it just kind of like blends into your to your skin so I'm just gonna use a little bit of the seas drop as well Ooh. okay <laughs> I'm just gonna use my brush now to blend that in it's dripping close to my eyebrows so I'm just gonna <laughs> mix that in so at first it does look a little crazy but after a while it does kind of blend in so trust me it's going to blend in I don't wanna 
All right, so I have blended out all of that foundation with my brush. After I blended out my foundation with my brush, I also like to use my sponge on top of it just to like blend it out a little bit more. It just makes it look a little bit more skin-like to me. I don't know if this makes a difference, but um, I think it does. <laughs> I like the way that the uh, the brush like applies your foundation, like really nice and smooth, but I like the, um, the skin-like finish of the sponge. I feel like it just soaks up any excess foundation that wasn't blended out properly. So that's why I like to go over it with my sponge. And um, my skin looks really good right now. I feel like I could just end, <laughs> I feel like I just end it here. When I tell you, just having your lashes done just really like makes the look like so finished. Like it's crazy, but anyways, <laughs> we're not done yet. Moving on to concealer. I'm just going to um, use my Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. Um, if you guys haven't watched my last video on this, please go watch it. It's very informative if I do say so myself. Or just like watch it to watch it, like why not? I am gonna use my Bright Fix Eye Brightener to brighten up my under eyes. I decided to keep the um, honey mustard color. I like the bright undertone or the bright effect like <laughs> that the honey mustard gives me over the almond butter. The almond butter just really reminds me of my Pro Filter concealer and I feel like I could definitely just use that if I wanted to get that more neutral color, but I really do like the warmer undertones of the honey mustard. So I'm just gonna use that under my eye right now. It really does look crazy at first, but like when you blend it out, I don't know, I love the look of it with the Fenty powder. So that's why I really like these two together. And I kind of like drag it. Once I drag it, I kind of just like do it in that triangle motion of where your um, concealer sits. I feel like the more that you just do your makeup, you'll just figure out like the shapes of your face, like, um, or like where the makeup sits best on your face, if that makes any sense. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna put it, just right underneath my eye, and then I'll bring it down to about like my cheekbone. So it's like literally just in this area. And yeah, and then after I've done that, I'm just gonna set it. I know this is supposed to be a chit chat, but I'm not even chit chatting with you guys. Like, yeah, so how have you guys been? Like, <laughs> I feel personally very tired and drained of this COVID era. I'm very blessed. Things could be a lot worse. I'm very blessed to have a job still. Any of my family members that have ever had COVID, um, like it's been super mild and it hasn't really affected us on like a super serious like level, but my heart goes out to those whose families or friends have been super affected by this. I'm just very tired of like, just like tired. Like, like I'm just very drained and I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably feel the same way so yeah there's always light at the end of the tunnel and i'm very optimistic for the future but some days it like really gets to you i know it gets to me and i just feel super unmotivated and not very productive so i i hope that everybody is doing well during this time so i'm what i like to do when i put on my powder i like to like press it into my skin i don't like bake for too long because this um powder is also like it blends really nicely into my skin. I feel like if you have a powder that is very close to your skin tone, it's best to just press it in. I've never been one to like really like baking. I always felt no matter what products I use, even if it claimed to be like not have a lot of flashback or like talc, which is the um, ingredient or chemical that causes flashback, I still get a lot of flashback no matter what. So like, I don't like to bake. I just like put on my face and brush it off. But I nowadays I just like blend in the powder. So I don't put on too much. I put on enough, let it sit for a bit, and then I just like press it in. Yeah, so I just really like to do that. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I do. I don't really like, um, contour a whole lot. I like to use powdered bronzers, but I like to cream contour underneath before I add the bronzer to kind of like set it. So instead of talking, I'm gonna just show you guys <laughs> what I like to do. I'm just going to use my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation in the color Walnut. I remember this one used to go crazy. Like everybody always used to be talking about this. I don't know if people still do that, but I'm the type of person, like if something works for me, I'm not gonna change it. I just like to use a a little bit of this like right underneath my cheekbone I use this like strictly for contour it's like a like a pretty dense like brush and I just like dab it in I don't drag it because we don't want like a line like nothing too harsh 
So I like to dab it and if I feel like it's too much, I'll always like dab it more in the upward direction. Like you don't want anything lower than what you put the contour, like cause you want it to be super natural. Like I hate like a harsh contour. Like I don't know whoever like thought that was cute and like why that became a thing, but like I hate a harsh contour. Like I like it to be super bronzy, like just super light and super natural. And like sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I'll like to carve out underneath my cheekbone. So I'll take it to about here, almost to where I would normally put my blush. And like, it'll kind of blend in with my blush and blend that in. And I'll use like the access just really faintly on my forehead to like shape out my forehead. Shape, I don't know about the shape on my forehead. I'll use the access on my forehead like just a little bit. It just like kind of just brings color back to your face. I'm just gonna use my Fenty, um, what is it called again? Sunstalker bronzer, yes. In the color Coconati and just bronze out the cheeks there. So I like to just set and then again, I'll just use the access really lightly, like really lightly and I'll literally do this, like really lightly. Cause you can always give but you can't take back and then after that my favorite part of probably my makeup routine nowadays like I don't know like I've really been loving blush you guys I recently picked up like during the VIB sale um, the rare beauty like blush it's called the name is not on here but I'll put the name on the screen because I can't remember and again it's gonna be down in the description box as well but it's like a cream uh, blush so it's super super nice on like the skin and I just apply this literally with my finger actually I got the nearly neutral shade to begin with because the apricot shade was sold out at the time but I recently just picked up the nearly apricot shade and like look at this guys like can not tell me that isn't like so pretty like I'm I, I've only put on a little bit so far but it just looks so pretty like like I just love blush and I feel like I actually kind of have like a problem now like I just love blush I think it's just so pretty I just feel like a doll like you know and then I like to use my sponge again and just blend it out just a little bit especially if I put on a, too much because my hand is a little heavy when it comes to this now. For lips today, I'm not gonna do anything like too fancy. I mean, like I don't really do anything too fancy. I'm just gonna use my KKW um, lip liner pencil in the color Nude 2. I need to sharpen this actually, so don't judge me, but um, I'm just gonna literally just use a little bit. I like this one because it's like a reddish undertone, but it's also brown, so it looks really neutral, like with whatever you put on your lips after that. I'm never prepared if you guys haven't like noticed yet. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this like brown lip gloss that I got from the beauty supply store. You know when you like try a lip combination and like you're not sure like how it kind of looks like that's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm just gonna use this clear lip gloss on the top to top it all off. There's a lot of layers right now. I'm gonna set my face with this Morphe setting spray. Just a little bit. Yeah, this is like pretty much the final look, you guys. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys use some of my tips and tricks. Let me know if you're gonna try them or if you have tried them and if you found them helpful at all. Like I said, I just wanted to sit in front of the camera and just like talk to you guys. Hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy mentally and physically. We are in such a weird time, so I hope that you guys are kind of taking time for yourselves and just kind of mentally resetting. Anything that really helps you just um, kind of like gets you out of like any negative space. Let me know if you guys want me to do any more makeup related videos. Talking and doing my makeup is kind of fun. So let me know if you guys would like to see more. Please don't forget to obviously like, comment, and subscribe. Also don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you are notified every time that I post and that you are staying up to date with all my uploads. And I will definitely, definitely, definitely see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.